I'm about to get ripped off by the Chevy dealership, and because I'm expecting it, I've set up hidden cameras for an undercover investigation. With the hidden cameras in here, we're ready to go to the Chevy dealership. We've got an appointment, a few minutes late, 10 o'clock. This is Johnny. He's our service guy. Before revealing the surprising undercover investigation of what really happened at the dealership, let's first go back one week earlier to the phone call when I set up the appointment. All right, should we find out what the Chevy dealer is going to rip me off for if I try to get a new key and fob through them? I'm trying to find out cost on a key and fob for my Chevy Silverado. 16306 after tax. Is that uh, the key and the remote fob or just the key or? That is just the remote. It's just the remote, okay. And then the key is $80.68. And then the key needs to be cut. To cut it, I need to get a key code, and the key code is 65 bucks. Oh, it's, it's kind of spendy. Oh, it's, it's kind of spendy. And then you said there's programming on top of that? Okay. You'd have to get a quote through service on that, but your total after taxes for the transmitter, the key, and the key code is three nineteen and fifty nine. What? Three nineteen. okay. For that, programming is 175. Okay, 175. Then how long should I plan to be there for that? Usually for something like that, it takes about an hour and a half, two hours, just because we have to verify programming. And then we are going by appointment only. Okay. No one should be paying almost $500 for another key and fob to start your vehicle. That's robbery. Let's do a little head-to-head -head comparison of the Chevy dealership and Tom's Key Company and making a spare key for the Silverado. Now, back to the undercover footage as Johnny checks me in at the Chevy dealership. Are you okay leaving it for the afternoon? What kind of time frame are you thinking? Probably three or four hours. So we can set up Calendar. the first part of next week. And I'm like, what? I had an appointment. What do you mean you can't accommodate me? The service guy told me to plan on about four hours to get the key and fob made. So with all that time on my hands, I could look around the dealership, check out some vehicles. Eventually I headed down the street, pulled out my laptop and did some work. I'm excited to look at this undercover footage. It looks like about five minutes after I finished checking in, the uh, pretty young kid comes to uh, take the truck. He's singing to himself. About 20 minutes later, looks like this is probably the guy that's really good at program the key. He looks a little more experienced. We'll call him Bob. He's talking to our friend Johnny, who checked me in. Oh, they're talking about the keys and fobs to be made. Am I doing one or two? Or two? I'm just doing it as an ad. Yeah. Just an ad. All right. Cool, cool. I've been hanging out here for an hour. They just got started. They said it's gonna be as much as four hours by the time they're done. Sure hope it doesn't take that long. Seems a little crazy. Oh, look at that. There, Bob just grabbed the, looks like probably his equipment. With his programming equipment plugged in, he's about to program the new remote fob. Oh yeah, look at that. Less than 10 seconds once he hooked up his equipment. He programmed that fob. That was pretty quick. It's not a surprise there. Practically took him longer to get his equipment and plug it into the vehicle than it did to actually program the remote fob. I think he went to the parts department here. He's been gone for a couple minutes. Okay, he's back with key. Here we go. Are we starting the engine with the original key? And let's see, he's starting with the new key. This is the programming procedure for Chevy. Look, he's done. Yeah, we've got about 10 seconds on the key as well. We've got a multi-point inspection on the bill. Let's see what happens with that. All right, he's lifting the hood. This must be the multi-point inspection. He's got some washer fluid. Okay, he's checking the windshield washer fluid. It uh, looks like the washer fluid was pretty low. He's put about a half gallon or something in. Ooh, we actually finished off that whole tank. Oh, he went back and got another bottle of, he's filling it up. Oh, and he closed it. And that was the end of the inspection. Okay, Johnny's finished his paperwork, I guess. I think he went on break. He's been gone for about 15 minutes now. Looks like Bob is going to let Johnny know he's done making the key and fob. Look at that. The truck sits for about 10 minutes before another guy takes it out to the parking lot and sends another young kid to come park the car. 
There we go. Looks like the vehicle got parked for the first 40 minutes. Took all about four minutes of programming. And then it did a multi-point inspection, which consisted of refilling the windshield wash fluid. And then the truck sat some more. So how about that? That's what I learned with the undercover footage. A lot of vehicle sitting and waiting just so the service guy Bob could take care of his programming for a couple minutes. Watch what I do on sitting in the parking lot once I got my vehicle back. Well, I'm really surprised. They said it was gonna be about four hours before I got my car back. And they texted after just two saying it was ready for me to pick up with a new key and fob made. Yeah, we got three keys now. That's good. The key itself was 80 and then 175 to program the theft system. And was it a full hour? That's a full hour labor charge, yeah, right? Like don't the, don't do learn. half hours or anything like that. They do, but uh, for this setup, you have to do the whole theft system. So you have okay. to blank everything out and then uh -huh. load it all back in. Okay. Hmm. Now, where did that $175 hour of labor go? Okay, Very well, we'll you have a, yeah, have a wonderful day. You too. So before I leave the Chevy dealership, let's see how long it takes for me to make a spare key and fob all by myself. From Tom's Key Company, we've got a key fob. This key's been cut with the key by photo service. That's pretty amazing stuff. So take the programmer, dial number two. You need at least one working key, put it in the ignition, plug it into the OBD2 port. So the programmer's done its thing. It's already talking to the vehicle. Press lock and unlock for about 15 seconds. There, vehicle B. We got to program the key. We got to take our original working key, Fire up the engine. We're gonna put the new key in. Watch that security light. It's gonna indicate four keys are now programmed. Just like that. Boom. Can it get any easier than that? Why on earth they want to charge an entire hour of labor? The choice is yours. The dealership or Tom's Key Company. Find out how much Chevy dealerships charge for a spare key and remote fob all over North America. Drop a comment down below with that code.